Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about adding and subtracting rational expressions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So as you can see guys, we have here two examples in which we need to add the first given expressions and here we need to subtract the given rational algebraic expressions. Let's start with item number one. We are given 6 over x minus 5 plus x plus 2 over x minus 5. These two examples are not that difficult because they have the same denominators. Here, we have x minus 5, and here, we have x minus 5. So there are only three steps that we need to do. First, we will add the numerators, then copy the denominators, and second one is you will combine like terms, and lastly, we will simplify the answer. So let's start. Let's add the numerators. We have 6, then copy plus the expression or the next numerator, x plus 2 over its common denominator, which is simply x minus 5 na lang. Now, you have your new, new numerator, x, 6 plus x plus 2, combine like terms. We can combine 6 and 2. So, so this would be x plus 8 over x minus 5. Now let's check if we can still simplify this given expression or the sum. Here, x plus 8 over x minus 5 is already simplified, so we can declare that th this is the final answer for item number 1. Now let's move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given 2x plus 7 over x plus 5 times x minus 3 minus x plus 10 over x plus 5 times x minus 3. It is confirmed that we have the same denominators. So what we need to do, first, we need to subtract the numerators. And it goes like this. We have 2x plus 7 minus this numerator, and close it by parenthesis, that is x plus 10 over its common denominator, which is x plus 5 times x minus 3. So here, this one, this one is quite different from the first example. So copy this first, 2x plus 7. So what will happen here is that we will distribute or multiply this negative sign to the terms inside the parentheses. Your x is positive, negative times positive x is simply minus x. Then here, negative, we need to distribute that eh? negative times positive 10, that would be negative 10 or minus 10. Then copy your common denominator, x plus 5 times x minus 3. What's next is, you need to combine the common terms. Here, let's use some other color to, to emphasize yung mga terms na kailangan natin i-combine. We have here and here. And also, we will combine this and this. So let's combine them. We have 2x minus x, that would be x. Then, your positive 7 or 7 minus 10, that would be negative 3. So, this is the combined terms of these four terms. Then, copy your common denominator. Then, after combining the like terms, we need to check if we can simplify or we can still simplify the given difference. Here, we can eliminate this x minus 3 in the numerator and the x minus 3 in your denominator. So what is the answer now? Since this one is eliminated, we, ex we can express our answer as 1 in the numerator because the numerator is totally eliminated, that is 1, over the remaining denominator, which is x plus 5. And this is now the answer for item number 2. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video. And as part of our routine, I will give you an activity wherein you need to add or you need to subtract the given expression. And here's the given expression. We have x minus 5 over 2x minus 1 minus 1 over 2x minus 1. So I hope guys makita ko sa ating comment section 
what is your answer in this activity this is number three and that's it guys i hope you learned something from this video and if you're new to my channel don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa the latest uploads again it's me teacher gone marami marami salamat bye bye